Okay, so now we are moving to the last team of the Innovation Challenge, which is the uh, uh, Utopia Music. So the team can jump to the stage. Thank you. My name is Roman. Um, I am the opening act for the team that took on Utopia Music Innovation Challenge. I want to thank you all for being here. It's a long day. We're at the last act. We're going to try to make it worthwhile for you. Thank you, Sonar, for hosting us and giving this opportunity, and all the teams that presented before us. Great projects, very inspiring. Thank you very much. Uh, I think the team wanted me to talk about the problem. Uh, so I'm that weirdo who always ends up when it's time to talk about the problems. Uh, not sure what, the, what are they trying to tell me with this, but... I have been very fortunate to be married to a songwriter and a musician for a long time. Uh, even though I'm a technologist, uh, I, I've been sort of, I had this unfair advantage of experiencing music creation in the process when something from an idea or a feeling or, uh, you know, some sort of s sparkle of inspiration is coming to life. Uh, I also seen the creative struggle that this creative process comes with. You know, it really drains the creator from emotion and energy and time. Uh, it's really, it's a calling. It's not, it's not a job like I have. Uh, there is another side to this struggle. It's not the creative one, but it's, I guess, the life struggle, right? You as a, as a musician or an artist in general also need to have a life besides uh, creating something, typically, most of, of, of the creators that I've seen. Uh, and it comes down to you know, organizing a space that you can work with or connecting with people that can help you to co-create, finding money to pay the bills, all of it. So, through all these years, I try to empower and support and encourage my wife to keep creating. Uh, but being a hacker or innovator to some extent myself, I was thinking, is there a way to do this on scale for others? This year, I decided to put out a challenge together with Utopia Music. Uh, and uh, this amazing team, which I need to introduce, uh, here's Thomas. Um, who has his birthday tomorrow, by the way. There's Alex. There's Anna, who has her birthday today, by the way. It's not a joke. And last but not least, Dennis. Uh, then there is also extended team, another Alex and Vera there, who are the mentors for this group. Uh, so this amazing team that came from all over the world, all different countries, really, uh, spent four days here and came up with a working solution for this problem, uh, which is revolutionary in my book, and you are here going to witness it. So enough about the problem to the solution now. Alex. All right, all right. Uh, let's go with the uh, prototype, not the working solution yet. Uh, but uh, actually, my background is I'm kind of both a developer and a musician, so I kind of resonate with uh, all the problem and uh, two days ago, uh, after we had some tapas on the Tapa Street, I know it's called something else. I call it the Tapa Street. It's pretty good. You should check it if you haven't. Uh, I stumbled upon a jazz bar, and they were playing three great musicians there. And the uh, 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 people that were listening to this music were maybe one or two people. And these people were playing like uh, really high level. And uh, we were discussing things. So basically, the, the situation right now is that uh, artists, artists more and more are uh, like uh, it, <clears throat> the table is against them. So uh, there is whole record companies, labels, etc., etc., cetera, et cetera, that uh, they uh, uh, with uh, uh, they, they control the process and also can control the revenue. And there are more and more artists. So. The biggest solution uh, that one can have is to empower themselves. Uh, this is the oldest thing. Uh, if everything is against you, the thing is that you have to pick up uh, the stick and uh, fight your way. So what we are trying to do is we are going to give some couple of tools to these artists for them to help themselves. 
And uh, uh, some of the tools is the, the platform that we are building based on blockchain, um, uh, reminiscent of Kickstarter or Patreon, that would allow uh, the musicians to use their uh, fan base uh, in, in order to finance their projects and uh, like albums, uh, build a studio, etc., etc. Uh, on one hand, and uh, uh, the secret sauce his, here is we are going to allow them to share some of their revenue potentially with the people that invest. Uh, and the other thing is to uh, bring them some uh, analytics that uh, would allow them to better connect with their uh, audience and uh, create better campaigns. So uh, with that in mind, I will introduce Anna to uh, talk about our progress and so far. Hi everybody, um, I'm Anna and I'm a product designer and UX designer. Um, well, my work was uh, giving this project live through colors and typography and user experience. Um, we wanted to, in this first step, to show different uh, kind of projects by uh, emerging artists. So, thank you. And this is the campaign page when you are going to find several tools, if you are an investor, a potential backer for the project, to decide if this is a good project to invest. For example, the percentage of completion of the campaign, also different plans to invest, and the most important thing is the stats we are uh, showing uh, if this artist is popular in social media and different uh, streaming uh, sites, so you can decide from there. Well, the main um, challenge here or the main difference with between other uh, similar services is you are not buying uh, merchandise or a vinyl or a CD, you are buying shares from them. So you are sharing those earnings from artists, real artists. Anything else? Okay. So basically, the music industry was going down a downtrend from the golden age of like the 2000s. Uh, the revenues really uh, go down year by year. And this, uh, uh, the streaming uh, media changed this a little bit, going, uh, giving it a, a good trend, but still the margins are like thinning. So like to summarize, there are more people in this industry and less money. And uh, what uh, happened last year was ICOs. So ICOs are ways to fund projects. And just to understand like the magnitude, uh, streaming revenues last year were 6.6 billion. ICOs were 6.7 billion. So like from zero to hero in one year, and this is uh, only can become bigger and bigger. So we want to allow artists to tap into this liquidity pot. So uh, it's there, uh, they can use it to create their projects, and we want to remove all this um, middle layer, this complicated uh, or um, like um, art, um, these difficulties they have, we want to just make them in touch with their fan base and have the fan base be also investors. So uh, what have we done in, this year, in these days? So we started with um, uh, creating the prototype, which is a full stack prototype. From the blockchain uh, to the server scalable in Python, it's perfect. Uh, Front-end uh, responsive, uh, his own framework, perfect. Uh, also, we skipped the, uh, the architecture uh, slide, but don't be afraid of technology. Like, uh, Technology fills the gap between dreams and reality, so don't be afraid of crazy developers because, uh, you know, we do the thing. Um, <laughs> the next step for us is to actually launch the ICO, which will create the tokens to, uh, for our platform, and to do um, an extensive legal research because uh, distributing uh, revenues is a, uh, you know, it's a, you become a security, so it, it must be a little bit research uh, if you don't want to go to jail. Uh, so we will be ready with the smart contract, uh, which we actually already did on a test network. So it's ready, you can come and see it. Uh, we have a live demo uh, whenever. Uh, but we will be ready to go live uh, approximately quarter to 2019. And I'll leave it to...
Daniel. Yep, thanks, Thomas. So, yeah, thanks for this Sonar Innovation Challenge to bring us here because I've never met so talented people here, you know. And thanks for Utopia Music. I want to explain a little bit how we use their data because they collect a lot of data about a lot of artists. And, you know, you will never invest in any artist if you don't trust them. So we're using Utopia Music data from Ulytix and some index. We have like a health, health indicator that these artists are really artists, they creating music, they have more and more views on YouTube and uh, all distribution channels. And we put it uh, on our page so you can see it and you can invest in the less risky uh, campaign. And Alex, if you want to do live demo, you guys maybe know, maybe you can uh, come to our booth because um, in these four days, we really created the prototype. It really deployed in the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So it looks pretty simple, but you know, all the complexity is just under the hood. Thank you. We couldn't do the demo. Yeah, please come to our booth uh, when you can. It's very, very worthwhile. I hope the presentation was worth worthwhile as well. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Roman. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the end of the innovation challenge of this year. First of all, we really want to thank all the amazing companies that came this year to support the innovation challenge and the even more amazing participants that came to join the, the challenge as well. We are very happy with the results. Uh, we, uh, of course, encourage everyone to go to, the, to try out the, the prototypes in the other side of the building, uh, to connect with the guys, and we really hope to see this progressing and moving forward from now on. It's just the beginning. So, and we also want to thank to the MTG, uh, to Sergio, Alvaro, uh, Fred and Panos, which are um, organizing the activity. I think they deserve an applause as well. <laughs> and to Sonar, of course, for, uh, for hosting us. So see you next year, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you.